Hello, everybody. This is Junior Triathlon Coup Race Athletes Briefing for the BLED 2022. Some agenda, welcome and introductions, competition jury, schedules and timetables, check in and procedures, the course, post race procedures, weather forecast. Welcome and introduction. We will have uh, Mr. Henrik Grabner from Austria, Europe Triathlon Executive Board Representative, Ludmila Medan, myself from Serbia, Europe Triathlon Technical Delegate, Mitya Dechman, Slovenia, Europe Triathlon Assistant Technical Delegate, Josip Mladin Živković from Croatia, Europe Triathlon Head Referee, and Miro Kreger from Slovenia, Director of this race. Competition jury is uh, myself as a chair and uh, Harry Grabner from Austria as a board representative. And also Mr. Dusan Olaj from Slovenia, president of Triathlon Federation. Schedule and timetables for Friday at Malazaka. From 4 to 4.30, we will have a bike course familiarization. Five to 5.30 swim and run course familiarization. Please be sure that you completed the following survey before coming to registration. From six to seven at Malazaka, we will have a registration for all athletes according to country code. You will receive a race backup with the uh, stickers for the helmet, bike, and bag in your package, and some body decals for both arm and both legs. Schedule and timetables for junior women at Saturday from 7 to 8. Athletes lounge will be open from 7.30 to 8.30. Transition area is open for the bike check. 8.15, 8.35, swim course is open for the warm-up. 8.40, we are expecting you, dear junior woman, in the calling area. 8.45, it's athlete's introduction procedure. Your start position will be on the water's edge on a land. One minute before the start, there will be a sign, get into the water. At nine o'clock, junior women will start the race. 11 o'clock, it's a medal ceremony for ladies. Junior men, 7.30 to 8.30, Malazaka Athletes Lounge is open for you guys. 7.30 to 8.30, transition, opera, transition area open for the bike check. 9.15 to 9.35, swim course is open for warm up. 9.40, 20 minutes before the start. Junior men need to approach the call-in area. And 9.45, we are starting with the athlete's introduction for junior men. Start position is on the water's edge on land. Minute before the start, they will now get into the water. At 10, junior men will start the race. Medal ceremony is scheduled for 11 o'clock. Athletes launch and check-in procedures. There will be a uniform check, name, country, logos, and photos will be taken of your uniform. Please wear this uniform on the race. Otherwise, you will be disqualified here if you change your three suit. Body marking is mandatory, both arms and both legs, and you will receive timing chip and swim cap. If you want to wear a second swim cap, it can be only unbranded and you need to wear it under the official swim cap. Bike check-in procedures. Handlebars with the clip-ons. Wheels and spare wheels needs to be authorized by the USC rule list. Leave your spare wheels to the bike check. 
and any approval for some uh, modification of your equipment must be obtained from the head referee during the bike check-in. Transition area check-in, it will be helmet check-in, running shoes outside the box, helmet needs to be unfastened and positioned on the bike. To add any equipment to the bike, you must consult their head referee from our race. He needs to give an approval to you. Pre-start procedures. Athletes' introductions start 50 minutes before the start. It will be a line up on the shore. You select your start position on the water's edge on land. When I say get into the water, it will be exactly one minute before the start. Start can be given any time when I say on your marks, then horn blast. It will be a raised start. Full start. It can happen that many athletes start before the horn blasts. So kayak will move in front of you and everybody, everyone needs to go back on her or his original start position. But also we can have a valid start with early started when a few athletes start before the horn and everyone else starts with the horn. Those full starters will receive 10 seconds penalty in a transition one. Course. Swing course is one lap, 400 meters, distance to the first boy, 180 meters. We have two turns 90 degrees and swim exit to transition area is exactly 75 meters. Bike course, it's a two laps, 6.7 kilometers per lap, total 13.4 kilometers. Total bike elevation is 500 meters. There is a challenge on end of every lap, a long downhill ending in a sharp turn. Run course is almost totally flat with one lap, 3.3 kilometers. Elevation, 30 meters. Swing course map. You can see how it goes. Straight start from the water, first boy, turn, second boy, turn and up. We will monitor swim behavior. As you can see on the picture, this is from the drone. We will have drone, but also more technical officials in a boat. And please respect your fellow competitors and keep the race fair. There is a rule that you can receive a penalty if you fight. Transition area, this is a map for you. All used equipment needs to go into the box. Otherwise, it will be a penalty. Bike course, it's a hilly and technical. And be careful, there is a long downhill and he ending in a sharp turn. We will have one team wheel station and lap athletes should be out of the race. Run course, 3.3 kilometers. If athletes start before the horn and everyone else start with the horn, it's an early starter. And as we said, it's a 10 second penalty. You will serve this penalty in a T1 just after the swim. The rest of the penalties will be served at the run penalty box. Location of the penalty box is 150 meters before the finish area. Please check your race number 
and check the penalty board if there is something that you do by mistake please serve the penalty otherwise you will be disqualified post race procedures at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock we have medal presentation junior athletes are not allowed to carry the country flag on the podium please respect the ambush marketing rule it says that it's not allowed to deliberately using the opportunity of live coverage and media to additionally expose your sponsors, appeal, or your brand. For anti-doping control, there is an ID with the photo, which is needed. And for the medical area, after the finish, only coaches who have been registered from their national federation into the World Triathlon online system and have accreditation can approach the medical area. Weather forecast from Red Lake for tomorrow. It will be measured one hour before the start, Saturday at seven o'clock. And as until now, water is 22. And it, if it's happened that we have 15 degrees at Saturday morning of air temperature, then by the rules, we count that is a lower water temperature than neoprene will be allowed. But wait, seven o'clock Saturday morning. Thanks to Europe Triathlon uh, event management, we have this uh, nice uh, um, border with, uh, with all the races in a junior cup. And as you can see, this is the race uh, and next in a, a, a row for the ranking is um, youth championship in France until now. We have this Europe Triathlon Coup ranking after Izvorni race in Romania with the first 10 ladies and the first 10 guys. And this is a national federation's junior ranking after the Romanian race in Izvorani. So please keep safe. Have a good race. See you tomorrow morning.